To prove that Chinese food can be perfectly balanced, healthy and nutritious, I want to try out my dishes on some people who watch what they eat very carefully. One of our Beijing-bound Olympic teams. I'm in Caversham to meet some of the leading members of the women's Olympic rowing squad. Be careful, guys. They've been on the water for almost four hours, so hopefully they'll be hungry. The lead boat in the women's squad is a quad skull, and I'll cook my chicken chow mein for the crew. Aha! Hello. Hi, ladies! Hello. How are you? Hungry athletes! A hungry athletes, good! Wow. Great stuff! I've got chicken chow mein. Hey. I hope you like. Smell good. So who's going to be the boxes. first? Debbie. Debbie speaks Chinese. Oh, really? Wow, ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. You want to use a knife? Yes, yes. Wow, not a joke. Wow, that's brilliant. So does anyone cook Chinese? Do you like cooking Chinese? Not often. So tuck in, let me know what you think. It's a bit spicy. We Should like spicy. Have a taste. Wow, thank you. Pleasure. Very tasty. Yeah? Very nice. Thumbs yes. up. Mm. Thumbs up. Cool. Really good. What do you eat normally when you're training? Really, we just have to have a balanced diet, but mm. you know, lots of it. So much more than a normal person would eat. But so a lot um, of calories. Yeah. A lot of carbs, a lot of protein. Lot of carbs. So this stuff is perfect, right? Perfect. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's quick yeah, and it easy, right? Yeah. After. It's delicious, more to the point. <laughs> <laughs> So my Chinese food ticks all the boxes for these rowers who need nutritious, healthy, tasty and filling food. Catherine Granger, the senior member of the team, has volunteered to be shown how to cook it so she can wow her teammates later. So first up for Catherine, the essential piece of kit to cook Chinese food at home. I'm going to arm you with an essential, okay, yes. which is the wok. Right. There's so many to choose from. If you don't have gas, you can get electric woks. For gas hobs, there are non-stick varieties and the sort I'd most recommend, the wooden-handled carbon steel wok. Long wooden handle yeah. that's unseasoned. And seasoning the wok just means that you want to create a blackened effect on the wok. Okay. It's a coating. Okay. And that is going to give it a gorgeous wok hay flavour. You prefer that over these ones? I like seasoning a wok. Okay. It's very traditional. It takes me back to my grandparents and to, oh. you know, my mother teaching me how to cook the first time. Oh. But nowadays, time is short and I appreciate that. So yeah. I actually have two. I also have a non-stick wok. To really get the wok to sit on your gas oh. stove, get a wok stand. Okay. Okay. Because this is going to make sure... From? I've never you... seen a wok stand. Well, they look like this okay. and you can get them, you know, in any cook shop. Okay, and okay. then just place that over there. Be careful, obviously, the flames. And this just helps to sit the wok nicely. Okay, clever. Okay? Because look, otherwise, you know, yeah. the food will go everywhere. Yeah, it's I a could hazard. Do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we want to get some oil in there. So you could use groundnut oil or okay. vegetable oil. Okay. And just going to give that a swirl. Can you see how it's all automatically oh, it's all changed colour? Yeah. I haven't done anything, and it's that fast because we've got a good gas burner. Just a little bit of kitchen paper. Okay. And some wooden tongs. Wooden we don't tongs? want to burn your hands. No. And then just keep rubbing it like that. You see the blackened effect. Yeah. And so one of these woks, when you start seasoning them, they're going to look like this. That's been done. Ah. You see? And this has got this wok hay coating. Wok hay. This is the smoky oh, blackened effect, the breath of the wok. The cheese. Ah, I so like when, it. Mm, when you cook food, you like barbecued food? Yeah. Is there a lot of smokiness? Yeah. That's what you want. Same thing. Same thing. Wow, I've okay? never heard of it. Smoke is good. So 10, 15 minutes of doing this and your wok will be ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Catherine, I know you're not keen on takeaway food. Yes. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. Okay. Because did you know <laughs> that the average mm. serving for a family four of sweet and sour pork and egg fried rice mm -hmm. contains, ta-da! No way! This amount of fat, 240 grams, 36 grams of salt, and 176 grams of sugar. 240 grams of fat. That's as much fat in 30 hamburgers. 30 hamburgers, no way. Would you like them? No, God, no, no thanks. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you a healthier version, which is fantastic, much better than that. It was a lot healthier. <laughs> I'm going Good. to make you my sweet and sour pork. Mm -hmm. Two pork loins. Yep. And what well, first thing we're going to do is get rid of this fat, because we don't need it. No. Now I'm gonna show you a trick mm. to help tenderize the meat. Yep. Just simply give it a good bashing. 
Okay? And the other side. Now, I need a delicious coating on this. Okay. I'm thinking none of the spatter deep fried stuff. Yeah. Something healthy. Okay. So I have here some dry roasted soybeans full of protein. Okay. If you grab a small handful Excellent. in there while I wash my hands, yeah. okay, and get pounding away. I like pounding away. Good. Yeah. Do these. Good exercise. I've never done this with soybeans, I have to say. Have a taste. Are you going to taste one first? <laughs> <laughs> Delightfully crunchy. Mm hmm. Full of flavour. If actually, you can't get these, nice. actually, let's put a bit more. Oh, go on. Come. If you can't get these, then mm -hmm. you can use dry roasted peanuts, but the unsalted variety, because we're keeping this healthy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is good. And a little bit mm -hmm. of some dry chili flakes. Okay. And a little bit of ground white pepper, mm -hmm. a tiny bit. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to heat up the wok, get that nice and hot. All we're going to do is just place some on there. Go on, you could do this I one. Could do <laughs> <laughs> I can manage this. Make sure you really pat it down okay. so the coating sticks to the meat. Mm -hmm. The wok is smoking. Mm -hmm. Going to add a little bit of groundnut oil, then in with the pork. And we're going to cook that so it's lovely and browned on one side, about two minutes. Okay. I'm going to flip it over and cook it on the other side. High heat again. Again, high heat, but yep. we do need to watch it because we don't want anything to burn. So we need to keep our eye on it. Okay. I'm going to create a delicious sweet and sour sauce. Pineapples. Yep. You can use tinned pineapple, but don't use any of the syrup from the tin. And then put that in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And some pineapple juice. Yep. About 125 ml. And that's the sweet. We need lime for the sour. Mm -hmm. Roll the lime to break the flesh up inside. Squeeze the juice in. You mm -hmm. can do that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Making you work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've got to get an appetite going. Your muscles. Yeah. Now I've got more juice out of mine than yours. Oh, I don't want to start getting competitive <laughs> now. I'll be here all night making sure I get more juice. Blend that together. That's fine. That's oh, great. That's enough. Perfect. So now the pork is ready. And you can tell because it really firms up, you know, the meat firms up. So that's great. So what we need to do is just pop that on the side now, let it rest, and then we're going to make that natural sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Okay, so work nice and smoking. We're not going to add any oil or anything. We're just going to simply cook the sauce and let that reduce slightly. Now, while that's going to reduce, I'm going to make you my si hong ji dan. Do you want that again? <laughs> Si Hong Xi is Western Red, which we say tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay, which you're going to help me slice. Okay. About three of those. Three of those. How do you want to slice? And Dan is egg, and I'm going, which means I'm going to make you my egg fried rice. Now I don't, I don't know a lot about Chinese cooking, admittedly, um, but something you always hear about, especially with Chinese takeaways and stuff, is the MSG that goes into food. Mm -hmm. And is that something that you would put in yourself or no no msg i mean msg looks like this Ooh. okay i brought this to show you really and i know lots of people are concerned about it it's, it's a like flavor salt. enhancer it looks like salt it looks like crystal but there's no need for it msg is naturally occurring in foods meats tomatoes even in cheese yeah. savory meatiness yeah you don't need it to create that you can get that flavor by using good fresh ingredients next ingredient for the egg fried rice is some chopped spring onion so we've got a second wok here, and this wok here is non-stick. In with a little bit of oil, and there are many different ways of making a fried rice, okay? I like to cook the egg, almost like scramble it. Now, I've got here some jasmine rice. Yep. I'm using a variety of rice called jasmine because I like the nutty flavour, but any long-grain cooked rice will do. And then we just give that a good mix. And now with the tomatoes, all of them in. In with some spring onions mm -hmm. at this stage. Nice um, colour again. I yeah, so. lovely colour. Yeah. See, all very healthy. And in now, I think, with a little bit of light soy sauce. If you pass me the toasted sesame oil, mm -hmm. this is my secret in cooking a good fried rice. Mm, I like secret mm -hmm. Gives it great fragrance and aroma. It just lifts the whole dish. Maybe a little bit of brown white pepper as well. A little bit of work for you before we serve up. I want you to make me a delicious salad. I've got a selection of some red peppers, yellow peppers, yep. sugar snaps, carrots, spring onions, mm -hmm. all in, and mm -hmm. some 
chopped up pineapple. Perfect. And to start with, some chopped pak choy. This is like your seven a day. Forget five a day. I was going to say. Seven a day. This is my you week all in one day. <laughs> you want to be super healthy and super strong when you go and compete. My coach will love you. I have to say. <laughs> You're so pleased. Now, to finish the salad, mm -hmm. I've got here some dressing. Yep. So in here, mm -hmm. there's some pineapple juice, some lime juice, flavours of the sweet and sour. Lovely. And some soy and some oil. And just to give that a good mix like that. I'm going to serve up a little bit of the rice. Some of this delicious sauce. Mm -mm -mm. You know the success of uh, British sport rests on your shoulders now. <laughs> no pressure. I'm nervous now. Are you? Confident? I am confident. Sure. I think the taste will deliver. Mm -hmm. The health aspect for sure. Mm. That's the best egg fried rice I've ever tasted, I have to say. All this fabulous protein in the pork. It's got everything because it's got. We do have a lot of carbs, so it's nice. It's got protein too. Mm -hmm. Balanced. Mm. Can you taste That's the amazing. protein? Mm. Yeah. Absolutely no need for takeaways, may I say. Okay. That is delicious. I want to try the sauce with this. It's just lightly dressed. Mm. Hopefully, and try a bit of the pineapple as well, so there's this sort of sweet and savoury element going in there. Mmm. This is super healthy. And wins hands down, I have to say. The taste is amazing. Were you sceptical, so, though, at the um, beginning? I was, I was hoping you could meet a takeaway, because the takeaway never looks overly appetising. Mm. So, but do I, I win say, gold, silver or medal? Oh, absolutely like, top step of the podium. <laughs> you're, step. you're listening to your national anthem and watching the flag go up. Catherine's going back to the training lake to try out her new culinary skills. I'll catch up with her later to see what her teammates make of my sweet and sour pork recipe. What do you eat normally when you're training? Really, we just have to have a balanced diet, but you know, lots of it. What so much more than a normal person would eat, but so a lot um, of calories. Yeah, a lot of carbs, a lot of protein. Lot of carbs. So this stuff is perfect, right? Perfect. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's quick yeah, and it easy, right? Good. After it's delicious, more to the point. <laughs> <laughs> To prove that Chinese food can be perfectly balanced, healthy and nutritious, I want to try out my dishes on some people who watch what they eat very carefully, one of our Beijing-bound Olympic teams. I'm in Caversham to meet some of the leading members of the Women's Olympic Rowing Squad. <laughs> so does anyone cook Chinese? Do you like cooking Chinese? Not often. So tuck in, let me know what you think. It's a bit spicy. We so like spicy. Have a taste. Wow, thank you. Pleasure. Very tasty. Yeah? Very nice. Thumbs yeah. up. Mm. Thumbs up. Cool. Really good. Be careful, guys. They've been on the water for almost four hours, so hopefully they'll be hungry. The lead boat in the women's squad is a quad skull, and I'll cook my chicken chow mein for the crew. Uh -huh. Aha! Hi, ladies! Hello. Hungry athletes. Hungry uh, yeah. athletes, good. Wow. Great stuff. I've got chicken chow mein. Hey. I hope you like. Smells good. <laughs> so who's going to be the boxes. first? Debbie. Debbie speaks Chinese. <laughs> oh really? Wow. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. You want to use a knife? Wow. Wow. That's brilliant.